Welcome to 91 Reasons, a pop culture fueled rocket into the far reaches of nerd culture. Featuring your hosts, Jeff, Rachel, Luna, Austin, and Josie. It's Tucker time. Hey, can you hear it in my voice? Can you tell how exhausted I am? We just got back from Comic-Con 2017, and this is not our Comic-Con recap. That's coming a little later uh, on the show. Instead, uh, we're gonna we're going to welcome you and hope invite you to Midsummer Scream this weekend at the Long Beach Convention Center, July 29th and 30th. Uh, Midsummer Scream is a celebration of everything ghoulish and creepy and Halloween, and it is going to be so much fun. I am I am Jeff Tucker. I'm the voice of 91 Reasons. I am the Tucker family here. Say hello, everybody. Hey, hello. hello. Speaking to the mic here. Hello. Hello into the mic. And uh, we're using multiple mics for the first time. I'm checking the levels. Yes, the levels are good. So Midsummer Stream is coming. This is the second year for this convention. Uh, it was a lot of fun last year. It was Rachel's favorite convention of the year last year. It was. I had a, I, Even though we're working it so it's a little different for me, I would like to be a guest only. But, you know, money talks and we need it, so... I'm working it again. So yes, we have a table. We're going to be there promoting the show. We're going to have time boxes and flash drives with episodes on them and copies of my new book, Your Friend in Time, How Back to the Future Changed My Life. Those are going to go quick. I don't have a lot of them. It's just so, it takes so long to get them from the publisher that getting a, a big amount, it takes months. It really so does. So if you're interested in Jeff's new book, come to our table first day. First thing and start of the day, and you should get one. Yes, you'll be there first. Sure. Uh, we're booth, I believe, 151A. I'll put the exact number in the show notes. Uh, it's at the Long Beach Convention Center. This is a, a, a celebration. You know what's great about this is that it, it, it extends how long Halloween is. Because, you know, Halloween when I was a kid was one night, and then through various events, Halloween has become, you know, used to be that sometimes there was a party before Halloween, like a, like a get together, and then you could go out trick or treating afterwards. Uh, and now Halloween has become weeks and weeks, right, Rachel? Year round for me. It's just, it's all encompassing. Halloween is uh, threatening to overtake uh, Christmas as the most popular holiday of the I'm year. I'm okay with that. It has the same kind of. In my world, it's Halloween, Thanksgiving. Christmas last because it has like lawn decorations and people decorate their houses and uh, Rachel keeps threatening to put up a Halloween tree with gifts for the great pumpkin underneath it <laughs> but uh, what's great about this convention is that also it's the one convention I can go to where I know everybody so it's a lot of fun uh, Knott's Scary Farm is gonna be there I'll be hosting the panel on Saturday uh, revealing uh, some juicy information about Haunt 2017, so be sure to get there early for that panel. I'm not sure exactly what time it is, but uh, it'll be in the show guide. And then on Sunday, I'm hosting a panel, I believe at 4.30, uh, where I will be talking to a bunch of people who make monsters for a living. People from Garner Holt, Jim Henson Studios, and Stan Winston Studios. And you know what a fan I am of all three of those companies. So we're going to have uh, people from each one. We're going to show some of their work. We're going to talk about their work. We're going to talk about the relevancy of practical creatures in a world dominated by CGI and green screen. And then there's also, late on Sunday, another Scary Farm panel about the history of Haunt that I'm actually not involved with, so I won't be at that one. But I will be at the Scary Farm reveal panel on Saturday and then the uh, Making Monsters panel on Sunday. And then the rest of the time, we will be at our table talking to people, causing a ruckus. Uh, Rachel usually gets uh, tackled by security for being too loud, too boisterous, too excited. Hey, I like to talk, and that's how you get people to your table. I just think it's funny in a convention full of people with, with, with ripped open guts and faces hanging off, they're like, ma'am, you're causing a scene. Right? Like, that's ridiculous, right? It's because I always have a lot of goodies and freebies. Um, I have... I have, if you never didn't get skeleton keys from Haunt last year, I have skeleton keys to the first 40 or 50 people by the table. That's the, the lanyard one, the not lanyard. the metal keychain. Yeah, one. not those, the metal keychain. Those are harder to but get. But the actual lanyard. Some people like to collect lanyards from 
conventions and events. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't get a skeleton key, this is a good well, way to get the lanyard. And it's free. Out. And it's free. It's free. And then if when I run out of those, don't worry. I made up 160 some goodie bags that have Halloween toys and trading cards from Knots and all kinds of good things in them as well. And those are until they run out. And then Sunday I have 91 Reason door hangers. Got oh, you gotta have hanger. a door hanger. Right? It's got Don Berg on it. There's and nothing scarier than that. Boy, go to the Halloween convention, huh? Yeah, I'm going to Halloween convention, Berg. Ball and I'll out. have 91 Reason buttons both days until supplies last. So While supplies table, last. All you have to do is tell me you're a fan of 91 Reasons and I will hand you a button. That's great. Yeah, lots of freebies. I like freebies. I'm all about freebies. Plus, Austin will be there, and Austin is always entertaining at the table. So if you have any, like, movie trivia, any crazy stuff you want to know, which chicken nuggets are the best one, of the, Austin's your man. Come by the table. He will be glad to talk to you. I will be wearing a chicken strip t-shirt. A chicken strip t-shirt. Wow. He will be wearing a chicken strip t-shirt. So you have to come see that. I can't decide if I'm going to go for the Coles Jr. or Wazing Cane's look. Oh, he has more well, than one There's two days to the con. T-shirt. do one each day. I guess we know your wardrobe. I have my uh, monster t-shirts all lined up and my 91 Reason leggings, of course. Um, we're going to have Booth Babe besides Austin. We're going to have... I am the booth babe. You're the booth, you I know, am. We actually have a girl, one of the, a college friend from my school where I work, from Fullerton College, Grace, is going to be representing our table and being our 91 Reasons booth babe. So I'm sure she will do... She's really crazy with her makeup. So I'm sure she's going to look very entertaining and interesting. Stop by and see Grace and get your picture taken. <laughs> Josie will be there with... The only one not going is Luna, who is sitting this one out. Oh, no, no. He was scared by the spider last year when someone came by our table. It's in the video. Yeah, it's, it's in, in their the promo video. <laughs> promo commercial. If you've watched that, you will be seeing Luna being scared in it. He basically didn't leave our booth, and I think he would have crawled under the tablecloth if we didn't have so much stuff under it already. So he was not interested in this. It's not well, interesting at all. What was scarier, the spider or the food from islands? <laughs> yeah, the food, food from, from islands. islands. <laughs> so scary. It was. The weight was scary. The price was scary. The, the chicken strips were scary. We'll be packing oh, sandwiches. Yes. Yes, definitely. We're not going to oh. deal with the food down there. It's very scary. They're also going to have the Hall of Shadows, which is a, uh, a bunch of small haunts getting together, showing off what they do. There's makeup demos, masks, uh, spooky cupcakes, and t-shirts, and corsets, and masks, and what purses. What about the item we're donating? Talk about that. There's a uh, uh, scavenger hunt they're going to run with your phone, where you go from booth to booth getting clues. And if you win, a lot of the booths are supplying uh, a prize. So I don't know what the other booths are coughing up, <coughs> but I am donating a 1975 or 77 Incredible Hulk, Ben Cooper play suit in the box, just like when you were a kid. This is really old before the window on the box. Yeah. It doesn't even have a window. It just has a drawing the of box kids. The graphics are still so bright and colorful. And yeah. So, so I'm donating that as the prize. So you could win that. And then if you want Austin to sign it, he will sign it. You will sign, I love chicken strips and myself love Austin. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Midsummer Stream is great. Parking's not bad. What, did they even charge for parking last year? I don't remember. I think it was pretty cheap. I think they did, but I don't, I don't remember the price because we were over at Zimmer parking. It's a lot of fun because the, the, I've, said, I've said this before. I know other people have said it. There's something bizarre about Halloween and theme park Halloween fans that they dress like they're going to kill you and murder you, but they're the nicest people in the world. Like, this is such a close-knit community of fans that will do... I mean, we've met people that have become lifelong friends through Scary Farm, right? Yeah, most of my friends. It's interesting because, we again, we just got back from Comic-Con, and we didn't make any friends at Comic-Con. But we will make friends at Midsummer Scream. For sure. So it does say a lot about the fan base and how people are a little more receptive to welcoming you. Which, I mean, it's totally at odds with the scary nature of it. But I think if I had to boil it down, it's the being scared part that that we all have in common. Everybody likes to get scared, mostly, right? And we like to face death and then laugh at it and then go to the next maze or the next scare zone. So I think we all share that. And 
This is the other thing is I don't recall people being as excited for any other convention the way they're excited for Midsummer Stream. We've got our friend Ruslan who has been doing makeup tests all week on Facebook, getting ready for his big reveal at the con. Yes. I, I like the cosplay at this one more than any other cosplay, but that's just because this is my, you know, this is what I like. This is what I'm into. So if you have not got tickets for this con, check out Groupon. Check out, um, what's the other site where you can get cheap stuff? Groupon and, oh, Gold Star. Um, and you know what? If you can't find a discount, just show up at the door. Because whatever they, they're charging at the door is totally worth it. So much fun. Uh, Saturday night, they're going to have a big dance at the Queen Mary. Uh, we won't be going to that because we're old and tired. But the rest of the people will be having a good time dancing the night away at the Queen Mary. They're going to have represent representatives there from uh, Queen Mary Dark Harbor and Not Scary Farm and uh, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, there's going to be celebrities there. Cassandra Peterson is there who plays Elvira. What other reason do you need to go than to see Cassandra Peterson? Why am I not going to this again? You are going to it. I thought you said we were old and tired. No, that's just the dance party. Oh. Okay. I was talking about the convention proper. Oh, okay. Maybe There's going to so. be so much to do there. Monsters everywhere. People filming, sliding, running around, screaming, clowns. They, they're going to have a room full of black cats that you can adopt one. Yeah, I need to stay away from that room. I would stay away from that room. Because I really want one. I saw it last year. They were incredible. The best Aww. kittens I've ever seen. Little, little tiny black this kittens. This is like Adorable. the best con for us to have a table at because I'm busy and I'm working very hard and I'm not seeing all the amazing things around me because you would have no money left in the bank if I was on the floor shopping because this is my thing. Right. And I would have a cat or two and a car full of stuff shopping. So I think I need to stay at the booth. If you aspire to be a crazy cat lady, yes, this is a good starter kit because <laughs> they will let you walk out with one in a bag. Perfect. With its head poking out. Sounds amazing. It sounds amazing, right? Yes. Now, I asked if they were going to have the Hound of Hell adoption room, but they don't have that. I was hoping to get, like, a Cerberus or something. They're so cute and cuddly. I'd love to have one. Yeah, the three heads when they're young are cute. Not so much when they get older, but what are you going to do, right? Can I what mention you that I have not trading cards? Tons of them. What are you looking so, forward to at the convention, Austin? I'm looking forward to running the booth and hopefully meeting some fans. Seeing the show floor, what it has to offer. So, have we sold you on it yet? Have we sold you on it yet? Hey, uh, any last words you want to say about Midsummer Scream? It's a short episode this week. We are exhausted from Comic-Con. Exhausted. We're probably going to do two episodes this week to make up for it. We'll do our Comic-Con wrap-up. But we're still, like, my front room is just, it's, it's, it's a cavalcade of, of con swag threatening to overtake us. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the next con. Did someone scream? But I just want to take a, any last moment. Any last moment? So did someone scream? No, nope, I'm at the table. Come 91, see me. See, 91 Reasons has a table. Come see us. Tell us you heard us on the show. Blah, 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 blah. Right? That's great. Time boxes are $5. We have three different sizes. No matter what size you buy, it's $5. We want your $5. Stuffed with all kinds of novelty, pop culture, toys, goody items. Definitely worth your $5 and a lot of fun. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Uh, on another note, not to bring the show down, but just to say, I, 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 on this show, I always say the same thing. I always say that we're all in this together and that we all have our, our, our hardships and our ups and our downs. And uh, we want to just say that we're thinking about it. There's a good friend of the show named Hendel who um, is going through a pretty rough patch right now. Uh, we've done everything we can to help as friends. And we just want to say, Hendel, if you're listening... Uh, we are all in this together, right? Exactly. And uh, we want to say that uh, whatever we can do, that's what we're here for. Uh, friends stick together, uh, whether it's, hey, can I bring you a cup of coffee or can I murder someone for you? You just tell me <laughs> what you need because I'm willing to make that cup of coffee. I'm willing to to put the silencer on the gun. I'm just saying. I'm just saying if you, if, if you needed that. I can use a cup of coffee. All right, see, I can get the cup of coffee now. <laughs> if, you, if you need the other, I'm going to need a couple of days. There's a five to seven week waiting period, if you know what I'm wow. saying. Wow. So okay. that means I could still get someone out knocked off by Christmas if needed, huh? Yes. Okay, I'll have to think about if that. If that's what you need. I might. You never know. 
The hardest thing about driving, they said we drove back and forth to Comic Con. I'll give you a little preview. We drove back and forth all four days to Comic Con. Oh. And the hardest part of that was having to drive by Raising Canes and hearing Austin bellow each time. Raising Canes! The best chicken strips on the planet. The best on chicken the strips on the planet. On the planet. The best around. That's why you're going to be wearing your Raising Canes chicken strip shirt to Proudly represent. promote the brand. Gotta right. represent. All right. So listen, we want to thank Rick West, Johanna. David Marklin, Claire Dunlap, all the people who put together Midsummer Scream. Uh, we are an official Midsummer Scream podcast at this point. Uh, we can't wait to go there. Uh, it is worth uh, the turnaround from from Comic Con into the convention this weekend. We can't wait. We cannot wait for it. Bring on the monsters. Bring on the scare fog. Right? Yeah. Bring it yeah. on. Bring on the dark-haired goth girls who need daddy figures. Uh, I, I, listen, I'm just saying I'm willing to help. Whether they need a cup of coffee, right? No? Uh, no, probably not. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Sorry again for the short episode. We've got a lot going on. And on top of that, on top of that, our internet is out in the house. So yeah. we don't even have internet in the house right now. So Austin we, ran away from home, but it only lasted 20 minutes. Thank God he came back. I, I panicked. <laughs> he, Austin he, panicked. He, he, he panicked. ran out the door. He said, I'm out of here. And he was outside, sitting on the porch in the sun. All those crazy commotions where the family loses their mind when the internet goes out. It's it happened. Oh, yeah. It so happened. We, it just, it just, yeah. it blinked out. And Luna got a thing on the computer that said, your internet is out. We know. Duh. Call us if it's still out. Like, okay. So we called and they go, yeah, there's nothing we can do to fix it. We're going to send somebody out. Oh, Awesome. What's well, Monday night? Thanks for sending somebody out. They'll be out Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday? Wednesday. Not even the next day. Nope. But the day after the next day. Yep. And that's what set Fantastic. Austin off. Austin went on his um, total meltdown. And I'm then, so sorry. Listen. And after he went off, he decided, I'm leaving. And he did. And I, I didn't even go look for him. I didn't know where. I said, okay. He left. <laughs> I came in about 15, 20 minutes. And I said, I should probably go look for Austin. So A- I was very happy he was on the porch. AT&T U-verse is threatening to break my family apart. Yes. We might have to talk to each other. I can't handle this. We might have to relate to each other. Yeah. I, I don't like AT&T. I'm what not the sure hell? I thought Spectrum was bad, but I don't the know. The words how. came out of Josie's mouth that she wanted to sit together and watch movies. Yes. It's yes. unnatural. Yes, she said that. Yes. That's weird. I'm going to be completely honest here. I would have watched a movie even if we did have internet. Okay, thank you Aww. for being a nice child. The one nice child. Austin she was lied. leaving. I yeah, thought Austin ran it. away. Well, I did too. I it's had a not... feeling he was halfway down the street well, when he went out to go look for it. light or his blanket. So I knew he wasn't yeah. going far. He can't sleep without those. To, to be fair, it's not the fact that I sit all day and look on the internet. That's not true. I need internet connection for learning piano, my piano music. And this happened in the middle of playing piano while texting friends. So you were just very upset. Yeah. So I can't play piano or talk to my friends. So that's Technically, pretty sad. Technically, you can play the piano. You just have to use the music in the book. I don't know. Or his phone. No, because the pho- YouTube app on the phone's terrible. Well, don't use YouTube while out with Wi-Fi. That thing sucks up data with their ads and so stuff. So what do you plan on doing tomorrow? Um, probably playing my Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> He's Thank reverting God. back to 1999. Thank God, he'll be okay. It's it all actually gonna work out. It still does support internet if you have a, a dial-up connection. A dial-up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I'd love to hook it back up to the internet. Yeah, you're so weird. <laughs> you're just weird. I walked into his room one time. Yeah. And I thought he was playing the piano or something. And all I heard was Sonic screaming and Austin going, heck yeah! I beat the level. It was great. Oh. I also enjoy my, my GameCube, my PS2. Thank you. Like, what? I have a PS3 and it does not work. How do you get your PS2 to work? Because they built them. They, they don't make them like they used to. Back then they, they built them They don't make last. them like they used to! But don't worry about me because I live in TV land and our cable is fine. So I, I don't have to worry what's going on in the Big Brother house. Oh, well, I don't have to worry I, about what's going on in Genoa City or my Young and the Restless. Everybody's alive and well in my little head. I have to give my special thanks to podcast listener Nathan for giving me entertainment through this internet drought. Go Nathan. <laughs> Old game consoles. Go games. Nathan. Thank That's you. All right. Say. So if thank you, you think, to Food Network. If you think you're suffering, oh. 
we're suffering without the internet. And then the lady goes, the lady goes, the technician will be there Wednesday between one and four, okay, and expect it to take two to three hours. Like, what? Two to three hours? What is he doing? Probably just gonna unplug it from the wall and plug it back in. Yeah. Did you jiggle it handle and did you turn it off and turn it back on? Yeah. Well, let me take a look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go back to the office. And then, of course, they asked for our payment, which I thought was very weird. I mean, it has a week till it's due or something, but I'm like, you want me to give you money as you're telling me that you're out of luck and there's nothing we can do to help you yeah. for three days or whatever? Right. But you want my money before we hang up. Of course, I It'd be paid, like ordering a pizza that never shows yeah, up. Yeah, it was just depressing. But you gotta pay like, for it. I just gave a lot of money to someone who's not letting me be on the internet. This makes no sense. She did not like that when you I guys, was playing this is a big her. problem without the internet. I won't be able to watch YouTube, and I won't know what's going on with all these shadow lady. Um, someone said God help. forbid. You can have the internet on Wednesday. 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 No. Between one and four. Between one and no, four. no, no. He's coming between one or four. It's two to four hours after. So probably around seven p.m. Wednesday, you'll have the internet. Oh goody. So late night oh, at my no. house so, Wednesday night. If you thought Midsummer Stream was scary. Imagine having no internet right. for a day and a half right. at the Tucker House, <laughs> where each each person has a dedicated screen that they stare at all day. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Join us, please. Please join us at Midsummer Scream this weekend. Yeah. Midsummer Scream. Midsummer Scream. Halloween is here. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Summer. Smell my feet. Give, Give me something, something good to eat. That's old. And I wouldn't have got away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, I am Jeff. I am The Voice. And I am being harassed to no end by the following people who have no internet access. Austin. Luna. Jose. Rachel. And together, it's going to take how many days until they fix the internet? 91 Reasons. Thanks for listening. My Grand Thar's Hammer will be back with another episode. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. So say we all. Hey, hey, hey.